this is Penny's Place. And this is going to be an overview, we'll call it an overview of the years from hmm, January 2017 Uh, to January 2020. Um, and just so you know, I don't have a notebook. I'm not even writing this. I'm just looking at the affirmus, which you see it goes to 2050. Um, I'm just going to tell you right off the book um, what I see, okay? Um, now, 2016 should be a year where you start thinking about Um, or at least realizing that you may have to make some major changes in your life. Um, uh, it could be because of death of people that have passed away. It could be well, ending and beginning of a relationship that you had for a long time. It could be um, even the Stop traveling or you started traveling. Some people will say, I don't need to travel anymore. I've done enough. Some people will say, I'm tired of staying home. I'm, I'm going to start traveling. And some of it will be because of the new presidency starting. And this is probably the, the one that's going to concern people the most. Um, and this may and I'm not trying to scare anybody but this, I don't know if this will be the last time that I can give you a chunk out of my predictions that went all the way to um, 2030 um, because I don't know if I'm going to be one of these people that moves around or one of these people that stays stationary um I really, it kind of looks in the chat like I'm probably going to stay stationary, but um, if I do, I'm going to be extremely busy. And I hope that I'm busy because I'm trying to keep you folks up to date on what I'm starting to get a clearer picture of in the charts month to month. That's what I'm hoping. This year is going to be pretty good. 2016 is a year of contemplation, wrapping up loose ends, making those important changes. Not too many <coughs> things that are too shocking to you this year. Everything's winding down, and this is um, our president last year in office before we get a new one. So things are pretty, ex nothing that you didn't already think was going to happen, okay. We always have wildfires, we always have um, severe storm watches, we always have violent, um, the things that you go through this year, you've, you've heard this movie before. It's not any surprise. Um, you just kind of take it in stride and keep going. So this year will be giving you a chance um, to start thinking about the what ifs. What if um, this starts to happen? Uh, to do with the government, to do with the world conditions of 
how is this going to affect me? How can I prepare for you? These are this is an opportunity to prepare for what's coming up. And um, as I said in a couple of my videos, some people will be very alert and they will figure it out. Um, they will catch on to what they suspect will probably happen next. Those people will be quite right. The rest of us will be too busy. Um, just enjoying life, which or people will start to I don't know if you're going to clamp down and start putting money away a lot of times people freeze up because they don't know what's going to happen with a new president but it will certainly be a time of wrapping things up and deciding for sure what you're totally done with doing okay well let's take a look alright so I'm going to skip 2016 because it's a pretty average year um and I have run my videos ahead all the way to January of 2017 anyway. And I can already tell you that the trying times are starting now all the way to June. Okay. Because of Mars going back and forth between Scorpio and Sagittarius. Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth all the way to June. So there is going to be an awful lot of violence. Um an awful lot of crime, an awful lot of um, fires, um, a lot of, you know, gun violence. Um, some of these things, unfortunately, will happen to brothers and sisters and people short distance from you, and there's going to be an awful lot to go through, so you're probably going to be recovering from that in the second half of this year and trying to get back up on your feet and try to pick yourself back up again and go forward. And you're going to need to do that by the second half of this year anyway. So you're going to have your own challenges. It is going to change, as I said in the video, it is going to change how you think and how you look at the world and how you view other people because of all these changes. Okay, but let, let's go on. All right, so, so let's move on to 2017. Now, I want to say... It starts off pretty quiet. Uh, Saturn is, is finishing up uh, in the last five degrees of Sagittarius. Saturn, remember, it's about restrictions, limitations, the government, and, and Sagittarius is higher education, long distance travel. Um, but I'm also kind of eyeballing what else is going on. The other thing, um, Jupiter is finishing up its last five or six degrees in Libra, which is a legal sign. And Uranus, which is sudden and unexpected changes, you want to keep your eye on Uranus, is in its last five degrees of Aries. So it's not surprising that everybody's going through changes. A lot of them you weren't prepared for. Okay. Um... So, January 2017, we'll start off pretty quiet. Um, it looks like married couples get a break. 
working married couples. Um, there's some refunds coming in to people that are coupled up legally. Uh, this is good. And this makes people pretty happy. Um, I'm not getting a hint. See, I can't. When I look at 2017, January, February. going to be in office. Um, the sun is highlighting Capricorn government. And it goes into Aquarius, which is a crowd of people. I don't know who this person is, if they're going to get it. Ah, uh, but I want to say... This is strange, because... Scorpio and she, uh, she is busy in the government and the White House right through July, August. She's traveling. She's really putting herself out there. She's in the spotlight in, uh, right up to in September. Oh, wait a minute. No, wrong. She's in the spotlight in November 2016. The sun is highlighting her. And only come, it just comes in at the end of October. And it's only nine degrees in to her sign on November 1st. And it stays in her sign all the way to November 22nd. It goes past Election Day. In this light, I kind of see her getting it. And that would explain why everything seems to be pretty quiet. And everybody's happy for uh, like the first six months. July. Oh. Now, let's see, we get to uh, October of 2017. And then Jupiter increase. Now, see, for Hillary, if she gets it, Hillary Clinton, um, this is a good thing for her. This means increase. If you, um, can 
sheet trains, um, the eleventh house, Aquarius, and other people's money. Now this, and then she comes into the spotlight again. Uh, and the end of October 2017 into November of 2017. Uh, she's going to be doing a lot of talking to people. I'm keeping my eye on See, what's concerning me is at the end of 2017, when Mars goes into Scorpio and joins Jupiter, which is only 11 degrees into Scorpio. Um... They will, Mars will be right on top of Jupiter increase in Scorpio January ninth, uh, 6th and 7th which is a Saturday and Sunday This is why with Hillary there, it does mean that she has every intention of pr protecting her country. And I can tell you, because she is a Scorpio lady, she will make it very clear to everybody that she will stop at nothing to protect America. Okay, And you can trust her because she has previous training so her commands will be very powerful um, she's going to deliver the message she's nobody to fool with um, you, um, apparently got a good legal background so she's good at that she's as long as we have her in place at the start of 2017 you she is going to the reason this is I'm hoping this is because Mars and Scorpio Scorpio's life and death endings and beginnings the alpha and the mega okay Mars is weapons war things made of iron and steel, high action, anger, <clears throat> high energy. So with her there, she will absorb a lot of that Mars energy and put it out there in a healthy fashion. If she's not there, if we don't have her at the start of 2017, um, or if something happens to her, we are wide open and vulnerable to this Mars-Jupiter increase. Jupiter increases the violence, the guns, the, okay, because they're side by side. And this is what worries me if she's not there on January 2018th on this Saturday and Sunday when Mars is right on top of Jupiter in Scorpio, okay. So let's hope that Hillary gets it for this reason, because otherwise, then we're in, the U.S. is heading for a war by mid-2017. 
2018 or the increase in violence within the U.S. is going to start getting worse. A lot of road rage because and people running into crowds and shooting, that's going to get worse and worse and worse because uh, Mars trains the 11th and 12th house, which in 11th is Aquarius, large crowds of people, um, things going on in the water, causing people to die, um, metal things that are in there that we're not aware of. I mean, things without her there to absorb and take control of the military and the war where she rightly should be right about now, right about 2017, 2018, definitely by 2018. Without her there, we are going to get it full face. We are going to get this impact of this war. When this is, things are going to start going bad in 2018. Okay, instead of, as I predicted, um, you get the hint in 2020 and by like 2026, uh, she going to buy you some time. Uh, so I'm, let's just say, but the sun spot highlighting her at the end of this year in November, I have to say she gets it. It could, I hope it doesn't spotlight her in a bad way or somebody, you know, God forbid, tries to, you know, shoot at her or something because we need her in place to buy us time um, so that she can absorb the, the Mars in, and the increase in war and violence and guns and fires. And she's used to this. She can do this. I'm just going to hope that she gets it. That's all I can say. Otherwise, whoever else under any other sign is going to trigger a war. Unnecessary. Is going to cause people to flare up. Especially if it's a Republican. The poor that are already under strain are going to snap. Um, people are just going to lash out in all kinds of crazy ways and it's going to increase and get worse and worse and worse and worse you know more riots more violence more angry people our rights our rights you know and that that's never going to end that's going to continuously get worse and worse if Hillary doesn't come into the picture because by the time you get to May of 2018, Uranus, which is sudden and unexpected changes, leaves, at, okay, so now nobody's shocked or surprised about anything. By the time Uranus is done, giving you surprises, surprise, 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 weather, surprise, violence, surprise, news, surprise, somebody died, surprise, you got to move. This all puppies down by uh, the middle of May because Uranus finally exits everybody's first house and goes into the second house of financial partnership and property. Okay, Saturn is very comfortable um, and has been in place and is very comfortable in its own sign in Capricorn and that is the government, okay? And now everything should mellow out. Things should smooth out, okay? Um... But I do see, because of this increase in Scorpio, that, that 
people, the more and more people are going to the hospital, and it does conjunct Aquarius with water. Everybody says, oh, that's not a water sign. She's not, but the water bearer. It is, um, but, but Pisces is a water sign and trains Aquarius of water bearer. And I'm just saying that there's something going on with the water and it gets worse and worse and it spreads. And because Pisces trains cancer in the United States and the, uh, this water thing is getting worse and worse. Okay. That is one thing that people are going to get affected by. Um, hopefully the changes that start happening with personal property will be good. looks like uh, the market people start shopping for houses um, this has something to con this has a lot to do with children coming into the world or they're either looking for a smaller place because the children have left or a bigger place because the kids new, new children are coming into the world um, yeah okay so it starts off in 2018, okay. Uh, we're we're at we're in the middle of 2018, actually. But this is where you want to start paying attention because with these changes that happen with property and legal partnerships, because eventually. Well, it, uh, I don't know, that's like almost 10 years away. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, um, because we're only going to 2020. Um. All right, so. I think you need to be uh, a little alert. We just had a special on it the other day. But believe me, by the time 2018 gets here, you need to start paying attention to what's going on in the hospitals and make sure that people aren't making mistakes and that people are not dying in these hospitals unnecessarily. If it's your loved ones or your friends or somebody, make sure they're paying attention. Make sure they're doing their job. Um, it has something to do with the bad water and other things. That's going to be a concern for 2018. So I don't see why I wouldn't be talking to you in 2018. You know, the war, Mars eventually leaves Scorpio, you know, and um, leaves Jupiter sitting there. But it, but it, again, it leaves Jupiter increasing life and death. So let's hope it's not a warhead that hits and and leaves after effects of people keep dying and dying and dying even after the, whatever has been discharged has come and gone. You know. But that would be only if Hillary wasn't there. Okay. Um, So I don't, so considering that she is, and she's absorbing the Mars impact, taking it upon herself, there, then what is left is the increase in Scorpio training the water and hospitals in the U.S. Yeah. Okay. This is where the water problem gets really serious. And it's not going away this time. 
and it won't until November of 2018. Or, but what starts to happen in the beginning of, right after the first week of November 2018, is people start, Jupiter moves into Sagittarius, which is long distance travel, educate people, start mass exiting out. Okay? If you're not going to fix the water, if you're going to poison us, if you're going to threaten our families, we're leaving. Goodbye. We're out of here. And this is going to go on for a very long time. That's why I said people are going to catch on and they'll say, somebody's not paying attention. Somebody's not doing their job. Okay? Um... People are going to start moving on out, okay? They they are. And um, this is going to start right away, right away in November, December. It could be, maybe the glaciers are, because of um, global warming, are melting. Because this, because of it happening in the winter, I have a, a funny feeling that northerners might be the ones that are mass exiting first. Because maybe this is a different water problem. Maybe this is floods and things rising. Yes, very much so. This can happen. That would explain increase in death, train uh, Aquarius, large groups of people, water, Pisces, hospitals, another water sign. Cancer, another water sign, U.S., and back to life and death. Yes, absolutely. We're looking at high floods. We're looking at frozen um, water, freezing, um, Saturn. Um, yeah, it could be. Um, all right, so we're at, we're at the end of 2018, going into January 2019. Um, yeah, this is actually the stat. It goes right on November, December, into January. More people are going in and out of hospitals. Increase on the highways, big time. A lot of traffic on the highways. Um, by this time, Uranus has backed up. Yep. Okay, I see. Uranus is backed right up into Aries again. Everybody's first house of sudden and unexpected changes. Right at the time when I see Mercury traveling on the interstate, high, long distance. Yeah, there's some kind of mass exodus going on starting in November of 2018, December, January. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and... So these changes hit Taurus, and Taurus is Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Rhode Island, and a couple of states. I can't pull them right off the top of my head. Yeah, up there in that New England, that's Taurus, and that's where Uranus taps into that, that sudden and unexpected changes. And... Um, June of 2018. So, I think they're shocked by the extremely hot summer that they have. But then, as fall comes in, nobody really notices anything. But then winter comes. And because I think because of the sun, okay, then where was the sun? Yep. Okay, here we go. The sun... And Taurus, so you're talking about those New England states, April, May, people start to catch on, water's rising, things are melting, 
I mean, there's no snow yet. We're summer. But right now they think that's a pretty good deal. But then it starts to dawn on them when fall comes. And the Uranus goes back into property again. People's property. Um, legal partnerships. People are trying to save their property. Um, and it's retrograde, back and forth. They, they change, things are changing, and they're changing their mind, and they're changing their property, and they're changing the documents, and they're changing the stuff because of this increase that's threatening life and death, okay? Now, this is a routine kind of thing that spreads out over the months, so I kind of, it's not like, you're not, you didn't suspect that this might happen. Okay. Um, the people are making some decisions about their personal property, their homes, their their cars, their things that are of value to them. Um, and that's what will start playing out. Okay. And the people are, this is what starts to happen July, August, September, or so they're starting to get it. Let me tell you what I said. Some people will suspect what's going to happen next. And these are the people that get out. Okay? They're moving their property. They're getting ready. What's going to happen this winter if they don't fix this? And people are smart. And they're saying, let's get out now. Let's go this fall. Let's get out of here. Because the water's going to rise, and if these glaciers melt this winter, we're, and we have this hot sun that beats down on us in December and November, we're finished. Okay? And those people would be exactly right, because um, the changes, people are changing, they're panicked. They're, let's do this, let's work on it now. It's fall, winter's coming, glaciers are melting, we're watching the news, we're watching the weather. Okay, they're getting out. Now we're into the end of 2018. Okay. And by the time we get to the, the end of the first week of November of 2018, people are finished moving their property again. They've stopped. They're making changes for themselves. Um, they're... Um, they're going back and forth, and you know, i got to fix this, i got to help, you know. They're making changes to do with themselves personally. Um, back and forth, and, they, and, they, and they're racing back and forth, and I can see this actor back and forth, back and forth. They're trying to get things straight. They're trying to get things right. There's an increase, in the meantime, this increase in Scorpio of life and death comes to an end in November of 2018. Now, remember, if this is Hillary in place, these increases should be a wonderful thing. It could be a positive thing. It could be a blessing of all this money for people and property. And if you're married, you get these tax breaks and all this. This could actually be excitement. This could be wonderful. This could be, as far, you know, I'm going to get you people the money. I'm going to give you a way to get out. I'm going to give you a chance to start over. I'm going to help these people that lost their home and get another one or it could be a wonderful, wonderful blessing because remember, God has a lot to do with the Scorpio sign too. Endings and beginnings, Alpha and Omega. Okay, so some of these things could be wonderful blessings, wonderful things happening. And people that are coupled, that have suffered, that have worked hard and both people have had to work and struggle. They're getting a tax break and they're getting this money and they're getting new property and they're getting new cars and they're happy. Okay, this doesn't, uh, a train is usually something that comes to you with little or no effort. So it isn't all bad. Especially, like I said, if Hillary is there, she is going to bring you increases. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's why I'm hoping she gets it. And then it comes into Sagittarius. Okay, so even though there's a mass exodus, if Hillary's there, she's going to make sure these people get what they need. 
they get into a house, they have some money to start with, she's going to take care of people, okay? If it's her there. If it's her there. Okay. Okay, now, now we're getting into, Jupiter finally leaves Scorpio and goes into Sagittarius. This is where the influx of travel starts, okay? Doesn't mean it's bad or panic, okay? People don't like, some people don't like changes. Some people love changes. Some people are ready for a change, okay? Now, Uranus goes direct and stops being retrograde. Also, right about the time that Jupiter goes into Sagittarius and leaves Scorpio, increase, increase, long distance, money, education, schooling, travel, wonderful. This could all be wonderful blessings. It really could, with her in place. Okay? And then sudden unexpected changes. People are going to initiate these changes. So people are going to behave in ways that you're not going to be expecting. Okay? Um, and these are probably... People that can't keep up with the changes, some people are going to overreact because they don't know how to get out of this situation. I think this this is kind of a and, it, and this happens for November and then December. We go back and redo. I just see looks like there's going to be people that are confused and they they, they don't know what to do. They're they're not married they're they're missing out on a lot of these things that qualify them to get stuff they're not in that bracket and they miss it they miss it they miss it they're, they're not married they're, they're not in a house they didn't hit a disaster and they're frustrated and they're stuck okay and they're angry because they're not getting in on these deals and they're still suffering and they're still struggling and they're still poor and they're tired of being on the welfare line watching everybody else move up the ladder and they're not moving. And, and, and that's just... And they'll react in awful ways. Okay, but... Um, there's always going to be that. Okay, so I, I, I kind of see that there's a lot of back and forth people doing things back and forth and changing and probably new technologies and new electronics coming in, going out same old stuff um, by the time we get to January of 2019 um, the people start to stand up this time okay because Ma Mars the action planet is in everybody's first house that means okay this is it okay we, we're going to step forward this time now we're going to put our foot down okay um, you need to fix this. You need to take care of the water. You need to take care of these people. And there's people, there are more strong people that are going to fight for the people that get left behind. And they're going to rise up, come together, approach the government, and say, listen, you got to go back and pick up those people that we left. you got to go back. You can't just leave them there. We're all wealthy and we're blessed and we're all happy. But now we feel the compassion of these people that got left out. And that is why they're sick and they're going nuts and they're crazy. And and you got to do something about these people that are on drugs and just losing it. Okay, let's do something. And the people are going to rise up, band together, to make a stand. Okay? And they have guns. And they're going to try to make their point. Okay? Um, and this will happen January through halfway to February and it's to do with protecting property. That's why I'm saying if we don't have Hillary in place, this is all going to be a war about property. I didn't see this thing coming about fighting over property until where it's to do with um, disaster and um, some kind of holocaust thing that causes the power to go out and everything to shut down and everybody loses all their stuff and then 
it's in, and then we're, they're fighting for survival, so they're kicking in doors. And this is what I kind of see going on. I see people fighting over property. If Hillary's there, it's something else. But if she's not there, some fool is going to start an unnecessary war is going to cause hardship to the United States and we are going to have some serious problems. Really, but a lot of this is to do with up north. Taurus is about Maine, New England, New York, Rhode Island, okay? These people are going to get hit with this frustration and anger the worst, okay? Somehow, they're angry, they're getting, they're getting left out of things, or they are getting blessed, and a lot of good things are happening to them. It's one or the other, but Mars is action, it's also anger. And an increase in travel. So, I really think there is a, something going on with the melting of the glaciers and whatever. It doesn't mean it's a tragedy. It can just mean... Some people would just be smart and just say, I'm going to go somewhere else for the winter and come back and see what happens. Some people will leave and never come back. Some people are angry and they're going to try to put up a fight because this shouldn't have happened. The, the government should have been paying attention. La, 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 la. Okay. That's what we're looking at in um, January and February of 2019. Okay. Well, we're getting closer and closer to this aggravation of people. A lot of it is coming from Aries tourist states, which is Aries is New York, Rhode Island, you know, um, Virginia, North Carolina, the ones that are suffering right now. And then when it bumps into tourists, then we're talking about the rest of the New England states, Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, okay? Now these people, um, there's a lot going on about unhappy people or very happy people, one or the other. Some people are very well blessed, very lucky, they're smart, they saw things coming, they guessed right, they got their stuff out of there, they moved things around, they moved their money, they moved their property. They've planned ahead, and they're fine. They were right. They guessed right, and they're good. The people that couldn't get it or couldn't afford to do this, they are probably the angry ones that are that are that are rising up, and, and they're and they're frustrated. Okay. Um, A lot of this stuff, because it's a tree, it doesn't have to be bad. It can be a good thing. Let's hope that it is, okay? But this is fighting over property bothers me, okay? Because um, without Hillary there, then we are definitely... This is the aftermath of a war, Okay? And people are, in fact, fighting for their property the worst way possible. The worst way possible. I mean, people are fighting. This is not the government. This is people. This is people fighting for their property. And, and it, it will play out as a result of a war or, or something that hits and blacks us out and all hell breaks loose. That's what it will be. I'm going to say, I think, with, if Hillary is not the president. Okay. Let's hope that she doesn't cause it. Let's hope she doesn't make wrong decisions and gets it started. Okay. Because this was not what I saw happening. until 2020 and I'm only into 2019 and I keep seeing this I keep seeing this this fighting over property 
And this isn't the government. These are people doing this. And this increase in travel. I don't like the sounds of this. I don't like the way this looks. This looks a lot like what we watch, you know, on these end of world Armageddon movies and people are mass transiting and fighting over their property and and we're only into Mar I'm looking at March and April of 2019 I mean this isn't good um, and, you know Taurus trains the fifth house, which is Leah, which is also children. Now this is where it looks like government, like somebody comes and collects up all these children and goes and then trains a ninth house of long distance travel and just scoffs up these kids and just goes with them. And in a very serious disaster, that is in fact what the government would do. And yes, um, Saturn is well enough comfortable and is halfway into set, um, Capricorn, which bumps it into the 11th of 11, 12, 1, 2, yeah. This could be a rescue mission. This could be, but I do know that our governor said that in a very, very serious disaster, you know, a level four or five hurricane where people, um, if it would, if if a very serious disaster broke out, they would come after the kids. He said that flat out. Okay, they would take the future, whatever can represent the future, and go with it. Okay, so let's hope that that's not what this is saying, because it's either a wonderful blessing or a horrible disaster. Okay. Um, that's why this woman being a Scorpio would have Hillary would absorb a lot of this and it would play out in politics instead of in everybody's life like that um, and the increase in travel starts to get more and more and um, more people are going to desolate places, hospitals, they're looking for hospitals. This is sounding too much like a, 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 a crisis, a very serious crisis. Which would mean I was way off base with the, with the Armageddon video I made because I didn't see, I saw people going underground but not for a while. I mean, I... Health issues, food and water. Man, this sounds like... The thing I want to keep saying, I'm look, I always look at conjuncts and trains because those are things that are absolutely going to happen. But I want to remind you that this can be as much of a blessing as it can be a negative thing. Because trains are things that come to you with little or no effort on your behalf. It just happens. Okay. And the Saturn and teaming up with in Scorpio and Mars, and that's never a good thing because it's life and death restrictions. And Mars is also about fires and a lot of forest fires and 
you know, <sighs> Neptune is in Pisces, which is institutions of hope where it should be. Which is Neptune is about drugs and euphoria and people being under ether and but it's also about lies and deception. Uh, and I don't and I've always hated the looks of Pluto because that's the underworld and control freaks and that's teamed up with Saturn in the government house of Capricorn and it's very comfortable there and it says okay I'm ready to control these people now I'm right I'm right comfortable where I'm supposed to be and let's make this happen so I'm going to and then we're into 2020 so I okay so I want to say And, and it's going, and I can see that people are going to do it. The smart, alert people are going to read the handwriting on the wall. Now, basically, we're talking about Northern New England. So, if there's a crisis, and it involves a 12th house, which is Florida, so it looks like right up and down the East Coast, a big part of it. To me, this seems like natural disasters. That's why it doesn't have to be war, like we get into a war and they come over here. It can also be a natural disaster um, that is out of hand. The infrastructure has been ignored. Something breaks or blows or snaps. A power grid goes out and knocks out power. It could have absolutely nothing to do with guns, military, war that way. It doesn't have to play out that way to create a disaster that becomes widespread. So people, apparently the first people to catch on to this are going to be the people up north that are going to start to suspect This isn't starting to look good. Maybe we need to get out of here, okay? Or we need to take an action. We need to get busy and strengthen our house. We need to build up, okay? But what this is going on somewhere between Florida and Canada or Maine, okay? Right now, a lot of what you keep an eye on what you see New York and New Jersey and Rhode Island doing because that's going to become Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont's problem. Okay, and um, uh, so that's why it doesn't have to be the end of the world kind of a message. It, but it can be very serious. Take action. Let's get this right. Um, our infrastructure is crumbling we need to fix things we need some money and this is where somebody like Hillary is going to make that happen without her this is going to be not so good okay um, the life and death will just hit everybody um, and the threats will uh whether it's a disaster or a war or it could be a three mile island situation something that really hits a lot of people really fast or the or the or the um glaciers melting and I mean you'll know what it is. If it takes a period of months over a period of time you're gonna see this freight train coming. You're gonna know you're gonna see it. Smart people paying attention you're going to see it and that's what's probably going to cause a lot of exodus even if you just temporarily leave your home I'm going to leave for a season I'm going to leave for a year we're going to wait it out and see if they fix this maybe we can come back some people will leave and never come back um, 
some people will leave way too early and you won't know why because they see this problem coming they're trying to get ahead of everybody else so they're leaving first and you say why are they leaving you know because they suspect everybody else is going to be leaving later so they're trying to get ahead this kind of mass exodus off and on and off and on on the interstate is going to start happening and it's going to start building more and more traffic more and more jams more and more people in the panic and and then it could be pandemic, it could be a, a nuclear problem, it could be a infrastructure collapse, it could be um, a solar flare that, that hits a power grader, it could be a lot of things. And it doesn't wipe out the whole world, it wipes out a section. And like I said again, or it could be very wonderful blessings. And everybody gets all this money and everybody can fix their houses and then the highway gets fixed and all these things that have been ignored because of these stupid wars that they keep paying attention to. Now they're going to pay attention to us and now they're going to fix stuff because they've panicked and, and the government sees, oh my God, these people are going under. But let me tell you that I see a lot of this happening with people taking action on their own behalf. Okay. This tells me that this is some kind of a disaster in which it's up to you to fight for your own family and do your own thing. This is what I see pretty clearly. Okay. But are you taking action because it's a disaster or are you taking action because you got blessed with a government fund or the tax papers were changed because Scorpio is also about taxes. So some people get a wonderful tax break because they're a family, because they're a couple, because of whatever. And they get this really big influx of money and say, wow, look what we can do now. So it doesn't always have to be a bad thing. Okay. Uh, you know, so just keep your eyes open. Um, don't jump to conclusions. But I, I see some very strong people up north in New England and the East Coast and some people here in Florida are going to be affected somehow. I see people really fighting. I mean, northerners are tough. I'm from up there. And they fight for what they want. They fight and they fight and they fight to stand up for their state, their country, you know. They'll fight for it. And they're strong and I think when everything shakes down and you pull together as a community, um, you end up stronger the way you started. And yes, I can Saturn is in the government and it trains first the first house of everybody and then it breaks into Taurus, which is New England, okay? So I see the government strengthening, strengthening the East Coast, okay? That is why I really, really, really hope that Hillary gets it and she'll absorb a lot of the life death influence that's going to happen with Mars and Scorpio, life and death, and instead she will absorb it, she will take action on the life and death situation and play it out in in assistance and benefits and homeland security helping everybody and trying to give people money back so they can get out. She is a mother and a wife and a homeowner. She knows all this and she knows about war. So if she has to handle war, she'll do a good job with that rather than the war coming over here. Um, outside of that, if she doesn't get it, it's probably going to be somebody that's going to come into office that is either paying very good attention to people's needs or is not at all paying attention to people's needs and everybody's angry. Just going to have to wait and see which way it goes, okay? I can't tell you that. But just because I see this life and death and this Mars and oh, I always think fires and war and weapons and I, I say, oh, this is horrible. But... It's also a train, and sometimes it plays out as a blessing. So, what starts out as a tragedy can end up as a refund of 
now we're going to give you all this so you can rebuild what was old, okay? Because Saturn is about structure, woods, things made of wood. Maybe you need to get rid of that and make it brick, make it solid, okay? Uh, structure, infrastructure is, is Saturn in Capricorn, definitely. So this could play out in a wonderful blessing. I know that New England doesn't always get a lot of the things that other other states get. They may get it now. Okay, this may play out wonderfully. Even if it ends in a disaster and things get ignored and pipes break or infrastructure crashes, you can put in for put in for a request, get that request, and really strengthen your state, make it stronger, make it safer. Yeah. So, but this water thing is a concern. But th these are all things that, because we're talking about up north in New England and the East Coast and New York, these are all things that can be very part of the course very, very um, routine, expected situations that you just have to band together, try hard, or fight to get things done. And I can see Northerners definitely doing that. Okay. That being said, I really think with the right, the right circum circumstances in place and the right person in office, I think this should, could be people becoming st incredibly strong and independent. And this could work out really well in the end. If you get the wrong person in office, this could be a complete disaster that hurts a lot of people and makes them angry. So we'll just have to see how it goes. So take care. God bless. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do another one later. Uh, if, if a lot of this turns just out to be a lot of teamwork and a lot of hard work amongst people, then I'll be back on again. Um, because my original, my original Armageddon thing was not... I didn't see that till 20, 26, 25. Now between 2020, 20, mm, you know, um, this is going to be infra infrastructure repair collapse, causing a domino effect of other things. Uh, I just don't see, or you know, God forbid, an asteroid hit, you know, but. You just don't know. And, and like I say, it doesn't always have to. Sometimes what starts out bad turns out into a blessing. And, and after everything's over and said and done, you're way stronger and way more secure and way you feel more safe and secure than you did when you were wobbling around on, on shaky infrastructure. So this could all turn out for the best in the end. And the people that go away or fall away or run away. It, it, it was probably just meant to be anyway. So take care and um, stay strong. Keep your eyes on the news. Pay attention. Be a team player. Get involved. And we'll see you later.